What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. A few months ago we did a video on how to reverse engineer STL files within SOLIDWORKS. One of the biggest questions asked in the comments was how do you orient uh, scan data or STL files to the base coordinate system within SOLIDWORKS. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. If you don't know me, my name is Josh. I'm the owner of Forge Product Development. We help grow businesses by bringing new products to market. Let's get into SOLIDWORKS and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so we're going to start by opening SOLIDWORKS, obviously, and then we're going to import our file. So you can either open it from up here or you can just drop it in. I'm going to drop it in. The file that we're gonna be working on today was provided by Met2 Design Challenge students. They were looking for help in some feedback on how I might reverse engineer this. All right, so we're going to start by opening up our STL file and let's just take a look at this file. And if we highlight the planes, we can see that they're not exactly conducive to reverse engineering, right? So this is scan data and when it was scanned and exported from the scan software, the planes do not align with anything useful on the geometry. So what we're going to do is we're gonna create a new coordinate system. Now, in order to do that, first, we probably wanna make a plan and figure out where we want our origin to be. Um, this hole is a great place to put an origin. As you can see, it has, the part has a symmetry plane that runs roughly something like that, right? Um, also, this plane here, this area, or this surface here looks very flat. Uh, so that might be a good spot to uh, build a plane off of. And I think that's what we're gonna do first. So our goal is to put the origin here and have a plane running uh, lengthwise that divides the um, scan data in half. And we're gonna put another plane uh, right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new plane and we're gonna be using a lot of techniques that I outlined in uh, the original how to work with STLs in SOLIDWORKS video. Uh, so we're gonna create a plane by selecting points on our scan. And again, scan data, this is not ultimate precision, right? Like this is, this is a scan, it's gonna be pixelated. So you're trying to get your best guess, uh, the most accurate representation that you can with what we have. So we're going to create a new plane and we're going to select three points on the surface to define that plane. And as we can see, that does a pretty good job of approximating where that plane should be in space. And what that plane gives us now is a nice place that we can start sketching. Now, what we need is we need something that's pretty much gonna define our origin, right? And you could drop a point in here, but what I really wanna do is I wanna try and line it up with this hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a circle and we're going to align ourselves visually to that plane. And then we're going to use the circle kind of as a gauge of where we think the middle of that circle may have been. Uh, according to the scan data, you can see that we've got these pretty straight walls here that we're almost pretty much tangent to with the circle. And then just kind of eyeballing the middle point here. Uh, so I think that looks pretty good for that. So we're going to fix this. The next thing we're gonna do, we need a uh, another line to define um, that plane that's going to go through this point. I'm gonna use a line because it's kind of a little bit easier to, to see where that plane would transect the model. So we're going to create a line that looks like this. And again, we're gonna align ourselves, make sure we're visually aligned to this plane one. And now we can kind of use this line to try and figure out where the symmetry plane of this part might be. Looking at the tangency here, it looks like it's pretty close to here. Now we've used what we know about the design intent of this part to build a framework that we can create a coordinate system around, right? We've got an origin point that we wanna be here that's on this whole axis. And then we've got this line here that's gonna define the symmetry plane. And then we've got this plane here that is uh, based off of this flat surface down here. Now to create the coordinate system, we're going to go to insert and you're gonna go to reference geometry and you're going to do coordinate system. And what you're gonna do here is we want to define the position. So we're gonna select this point here as our origin. And now we just need to define some other directions. So we're gonna select this here and you can see as I'm clicking things, the little triad here is aligning itself to what I'm clicking on, right? 
and then we're going to go here and now you can see that we've made three selections we've selected the origin point we selected a reference for the x-axis and then a reference for the y-axis and now you can see that the triad on this uh, that we've created is located at the origin point that we want and this x-plane is aligned with this and our y-plane is aligned with this plane. It's normal to the plane that we originally created. So the first, first part of our job is done. We have created a coordinate system based on uh, geometry from the STL file. And so now what we need to do is we need to have SolidWorks recreate this file using this new coordinate system as the origin and basis for the base planes. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do file, save as, and you can pick a lot of different file formats, obviously, to export as. For any file format that you're going to do, you're going to select what you want, and then you're going to go to options. And down at the bottom of the options, yours is probably going to be set to default, but what you want to do is you want to hit this drop-down menu and you want to select the coordinate system that you just created, right? So let's create this STL file. Now, one thing I've noticed when you export as an STL is we drive it back in here and open it up. So this is the newly oriented STL file, right? So we can go here and we can look at our planes and obviously they're now in a much better situation, right? They're in a much better location, but they're not exactly where we wanted them, right? We really wanted them aligned in the center to improve our reverse engineering efforts. So that's one issue you might see if you're exporting back out as an STL. Another option is you can go file, save as, and you can use a step file, which is usually a good option. Um, you can do options, it's the exact same thing. This coordinate system one here um, was already selected from previously, but just double check that you're selecting the coordinate system that you created that you wanna use. Um, now this does work. I'm not going to do it because it takes a long time. It's a lot of processing and there's a better way to do it. What I would recommend is you want to use Parasolid, which is a good format if you're staying within SolidWorks pretty much any time. You're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that you're, you go to options, select the correct coordinate system, and we're going to save over this for this example. But you can see that's very quick, right? Like the file's already created, and I can go back in here and drag this Parasolid file. And you can see that it runs very quickly. Uh, we don't need to run import diagnostics, but if we go and we look at our planes, now we can see that they are not only aligned correctly, uh, but they're also located correctly as well. They're exactly where we want them. Right now, we can create a lot of useful geometry just using these base planes. And that's really the power and the reason why you would want to do something like this. So that is uh, how I would do that. That's definitely my recommendation. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please like, share, hit the bell, do all the things to help support the channel. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.